Tyrus, I have to go to you about this because I, what would you do? And the okay, fact that I'm something gonna, I'm gonna like, stop. Right. Hold on with the car wash. This is this is not a real story. He's a liar. Okay. okay. This is some punk ass dude trying to get attention. First of all, the seats he was talking about extra leg room are emergency exit seats. And you can't sit with a child in emergency exit seats. I know this because when I don't have first class, my big ass is an emergency exit seat. <laughs> so if she had a baby with the extra leg room, that's emergency exit. So that ain't happening. He just made this all up in his head. No, he saw a little clip on a movie where a little chubby guy was eating, and she's like, do you mind if my baby sit next to you? She's used to this No, but there is extra leg room left. My, my, I make my family buy it when I'm in first class. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but there is, like, it's like, it's there is extra, leg room. Room. Well, extra leg room. I have a question. You can't have a baby in. Like, this dude just made this Here's the deal. Nobody is going to boo you if you're in first class and someone taps me on the shoulder and cats like, me and um, my husband would like to sit together. Do you mind switching with him and coach? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in first class. So why would I switch? I don't care how handsome her husband is. No, I'm not switching. <laughs> if you're the same thing, you're not going to ask somebody to leave an upgraded seat to go sit in a lower graded seat and then be like, oh, he didn't move. What a right. jerk. That's, why, that's that. why she's a scam artist. It's yeah. probably not even her baby. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. no. Because then she really gave it. Then she would have said, will someone take my nicer seat and then so I can sit next to my husband exactly. over there? Yeah. He didn't do that. This and, dude's like, a loser. No, I think yes. she's a liar. Because also, like, oh, how could your husband not still help you with a baby? What, are you each going to hold one half of it? Like, it's, it's just still, he's right over there. Mm -hmm. She didn't say, oh, take, you know, I, I would gladly give up my nice seat if you in this less nice seat want to sit. No. So yeah. This is a stolen baby. She that stole one. the baby and then tried to steal the seat. Stolen baby power. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, they're so angry at this woman. I am. No, I'm, I'm angry at you, you dude. Who writes that? Can I speak a jerk for this? Some yeah. punk ass lowly dude who made some <laughs> up. Like, he ain't no woman and a baby asking him for nothing. Mm -hmm. Never in his uh, life. I prefer to believe this is real because it's a segment on the show. And if we. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a mo the, mo the mother at Thanksgiving, and it's all falling apart. I'm like, no, let's, we're having the dinner, Tyrus. It's a we're having the dinner. I'll save you. Okay. Here's why. You guys, this just happened to me. When I was flying back from Oktoberfest in Munich, it was a 10-hour flight, and yeah. I paid extra to sit in the right hand, right seat window because I like to sleep against the side of the plane and because I wanted to be able to roll up the window because I don't like when you're in a floating coffin. I want to be able to see. See it, yeah. And this... Younger girl, literally younger than I am, comes to the bigger, literally down the aisle, and she she was like, "Excuse me, can you can we please switch seats so that I can sit next to my husband? I'm not feeling well." And I go, "Oh, are you in a window?" Very politely, and she goes, "No, her she was she her husband was next to me. She was in the aisle across from him. So literally, they weren't sure. I'm so sorry. I paid extra for this seat. I, I wish I could help you, but no, thank you." And she then. Switched with her husband, sat next to me, hated me the whole flight, told me every five seconds how she had a migraine. <coughs> also, she and her husband had their limbs in the aisle, so every time the stewardess would walk by and steward, whatever, that they would get pissed at them. They were like the worst people I've ever experienced in my life. However, when I got home, I literally felt like I was the worst person in the world, but this is making me feel better because the whole point is I did this. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to go now. Yeah, I have nothing else to add to this. I have no physical humor, hatred for mothers, or like just a, you know a bad plane story. I love that story, even though I didn't understand it at all. But we gotta go. <laughs>